Good morning, brothers and sisters. May the Lord be with all of us. This is Transformed by Faith Today, a program brought to you by Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I am Pastor Yolanda Pupo Ortiz, by the grace of God serving as Pastor Emerita, and thanking God for giving us a new day, the opportunity to share with you today, and above all, for His presence in our life. Praise be our God. Our meditation for today is based on verse 18 of chapter of the second chapter of the book of Acts. And I read it for you. It will happen in the last days, God says, that I will put out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young will see visions and your elders will dream dreams. I truly upon my servants and my servants in those days, I will put out my spirit and they will prophesy. This is the word of God. This verse is part of Peter's sermon on the first day of Pentecost. We know that on that day, while the disciples were praying in the upper room, the Spirit of God put out upon them, filling them with His power in such a way that they began to speak in tongues, not in strange tongues that no one could understand, but in the tongues of the foreigners who were in Jerusalem that day and spoke other languages. The disciples, filled by God's power, began to praise God, and all understood them, each in her own, on his own tongue. How wonderful! That was such an amazing happening that those who were around were astonished. Others mocked them and thought they were drunk. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Peter, that disciples we knew as a fisherman, a man of work and impulsive, with an impulsive character, stood up and preached loudly and surely with such a power that more than 3,000 people were converted to the Lord on that day and received the Holy Spirit of God. Peter began the sermon responding to those who were making fun of them. What was happening, he told them, was not the work of alcohol. They were not drunk. No, that was the work of the Holy Spirit. That was the fulfillment of God's promise, the promise of his Holy Spirit. Jesus had promised it, but Peter, in order for his Jewish listeners to hear them clearly, quoted the prophet Joel when he announced that God would put out his spirit above all mortal on every person who cry out and surrender to him. Let's read Joel chapter 2, verses 28 to 29. It will happen, Joel said, after this that I will put out my spirit on every mortal. Their sons and daughters will prophesy. Your elders will have dreams and his young visions. In those days I will put out my spirit on the servants and handmaids. When the spirit of God is put out in their sons and daughters, there is new life. The old will have new strength. They will be able to have dreams again. And the young, the sons, and some of the sons and daughters will worship and praise the Lord and prophesy. That is, they will show the way of God. The same for all God's servants. That is, everyone who loves and serves the Lord will be filled by the Holy Spirit and prophesy. You and I, brother and sister, who are listening to me at this time, are included in that promise. Yes, you and I, because we are his disciples. We love the Lord and we want to serve him. We are called to prophesy, to be God's prophets in our world. Me, a prophet? Maybe you are asking yourself, what does it mean? Who is a prophet? There are many people who have the special gift of prophecy. But as the word of God says, all God's servants will receive his Holy Spirit and will prophesy. Why? Because being a prophet does not mean to see the future as some believe. 
It is not announcing calamities and tragedy to frighten people. Prophet is the person who loves and serves God, the person who lives under his commandments and values, and therefore rejects what is not of God. Therefore, in his words, teaching, and his way of life, chose what it is of God, what is pleasing and worthy, what the Lord expects of each one of us. As Paul told the Corinthians in his letter, the prophet edifies the church, not only edifies himself or herself, but edifies the church, all the people around him. We need, brothers and sisters, more prophets today, men and women, youth, adults and elders, who feel by the Holy Spirit, speak out the truth, point out injustice, and show what it is, what it, what it takes to repair, to rectify, or to begin again. Men and women who dare to love, to have compassion, to forgive, and to live under God's values with humility, never with arrogance, always with humility, just as the Lord did. Oh God, we want to be your prophets. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Put out your Holy Spirit on us. We want to feel the fire of your Spirit in us so that we can raise our voices to proclaim that you are our God, that we can build your church, not with our human work, but with the, your Spirit, the Spirit of peace, justice, respect, and love. Bless us, O love, the Spirit of God. Be with us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.